Yo, what's up guys? My name is Blackie Beer and we're back in the Halloween event and uh, we got uh, Calypso. We got two pieces of her already. Um, I haven't done this uh, part yet. We have to clear the awakening value. We have transfer XP and do hero promote and use hero friends. Um, I will do these, but right now we're working on the candy. We got 212 candy left, so let's draw up some points and um yeah we are definitely gonna gather up some rewards so mostly we get some um we have 14 left we have one with two of these chests left but i still i, I want to get those chests before moving on so i just draw it everything and there we go we got two of the chests now we only have 30 gems left and some more, but the rest is almost draw, so I'll just draw the, the finishing parts. And now we can move on to the next. I'm gonna skip the, the the introduction and stuff, or the teasers, so to say, so you can enjoy them yourselves. You can always uh, event story and look back at them, so. Okay, we have 120, we can three of those chests, so we're gonna draw everything out. And since I'm just gonna go do everything, so to speak, I'm just gonna collect all the rewards till I'm at the latest step. Because most of the beginning rewards are all bad until you want to get these for sure. And these chests you want to get as well because the chests have actually really good value in them. I'll show you that after. So we got another 300 pieces there. Uh, we have one box, one summoning left. We're probably gonna get them soon okay well one box and then we can move on to the next one there we go we got the box you could decide to continue but i can also just the only thing left here is a bit of silver and that's it the rest i got so we'll go to the next step yes and on the next step we have again 300 pieces i do not i will not be able to complete the whole step so, but we get double chest right away, very nice. So only two chests left. Nothing in this one. Nothing here. Nothing in there. Also nothing. Also nothing. Can we get something? And uh, scroll. And the last six are nothing so far. So that kind of. Uh, we'll have to just grind some more. But those chests, you get them in the mailbox. And we have nine. And if we use them, you can choose Asian Drill, Jewel of Nether, and Tome of Altar. I'm going to gather up tomes. All I'm going to do is gather up tomes because these other two are actually not too hard, while the tomes are very difficult. So we're going to collect those, get five of them, and actually we'll receive a hell of a lot of tomes now. Which is a very cool thing that they actually give the event the rewards that we that you're looking for. The altar realm tomes are pretty hard. You can get about three a day, it seems, and you need seven to do something. So this is a very welcoming gift that we get that many. Um, yeah, so I'm just collecting all these stuff and we'll end up with a bunch of these tomes. So I would definitely suggest doing that. I, the jewels are also needed. They're not bad. But uh, the jewels you get from Awakening Value Floor 9 and up as well. And the Asian Dot you get from Rune Dungeon. So this is the hardest thing to do. Because you only have 3 entities each day. And it's not a certain drop if you don't get super high rank. I think it doesn't even matter. If you even get S+, plus, you don't always get a tome. And it's always just one. So... Now, if we go to the crafting, we will have a look at the specials, and we get 52 now. And the reason why you want this is because you actually need them for the coins. So, in order to get more coins, you need this. Um, so, I wanted to go to the ancient shop for this video, and I wanted to go through the legend runes. We got uh, 420 points left, so we can buy some more runes. Um, so, let's have a look 
I could buy this one because it's an attack slot. It's not a bad one, but the subset sucks. But then I have to re-roll him before I can use it. I'm not really into re-rolling because this refresh every Monday. So I'm just going to look for a better slot. I don't dislike this solid revenge room, but it's not something I need. Especially I don't need any counter runes, to be honest. The fatal rune is kind of bad, so we'll just roll to the next. Accuracy on Swift, but no speed subsets, and a Vampire Rune, nothing special there. So we continue. Ooh, Earthquake Attack with 4 speed. This is not terrible. Let's have a quick look what kind of Earthquake Runes we have. So we have an attack slot, but with 4 substats. Defense, a flat attack with high crit. Flat, defense. Flat attack and defense. I do think I have one on my uh, unit, but it's not. I have one on my um, what should I call it? Actually, I don't know which one I should have. An attack earthquake rune. I don't think I have many. Uriel, but he doesn't have that slot for attack, so it's actually. An earthquake slot that I don't have, but it's a bit of an awkward earthquake set because earthquake is something you often place on an. Uh, I think Freya has one. Not on a damage dealer, but more on a, a utility monster. Oh, that's a speed one. Not for sure. I don't think I need the rune so bad. Um, and since the coins are relatively hard to obtain. I think I will maybe skip that rune. I mean, it's it's a tough call to be honest. I would have bought it if it was an explosion with the, the subsets, but I think I'll skip for this because it's an attack slot. Um, defense counter, nothing what I'm looking for. So let's continue. Ooh, attack with crit. This could be good. And this rune has very good subs. Speed crit, crit damage, and accuracy. If it does crit damage, or accuracy, sorry, it's a good rune. I think I'll buy this one because it's an explosion rune. It's actually worth buying. This one I'm not on sure. I mean, it's a great rune, but if it rolls wrong, okay, I'm actually gonna get it. The reason why I'm getting it is because it's not a bad slot to have and I, I think it's uh, maybe a really perfect rune if I can get it to roll correctly nothing here swift with freaking amazing substats if it dodges defense this can be an amazing rune am I willing to risk this yeah, I am. You might think, oh, that's waste of the points, but in all honesty, it's not that big of a deal. This is also not a terrible room, but not amazing. Because if you get dupes, you get more, right? So I'm pretty confident I can get dupes. This resistance or nothing special. We can also check these. Uh, life with speed is not a bad rune. Let's get that as well. We probably don't have enough for the next thing we find, but okay. Uh, we can transmit in actually on Stonekin and we get speed on Vampire. I will get that speed gem. But we'll have to get more ancient coins. We can actually uh, craft some. So we can feed my dupe Morgan. And as you can see, you need them, so we'll craft that away. Wait, not enough material? What am I not seeing? I have everything. Or is it kept? What's going on? What is going on? I think it... Oh, okay. It didn't select my unit for some reason. There we go. Got 200 coins more. Let's get my transmute here. The other one is not really necessary. 
uh, max HP and another transmute to speed. Let's get that one. Skip the speed amplifier because it's on a explosion rune. Uh, yeah, it's on a weird rune. Don't need that. It's not a bad attack slot, obviously, but it's just I want to get them on the right kind of runes. Stonekin defense buff, it's great, but it's not something I'm in need of. Life with HP, which is great. Also not something I'm in need of. Uh, flat, uh, life to crit. I am going to get that, because I have a lot of life runes. So it's not a bad thing that I can transmute into. Life with HP is not bad, but I don't need it. Defense, defense, and the last one. E Swiftwood speed, perfect. Probably the best you can get. There we go. Um, so we <laughs> used all our coins, which is not a problem. Because next Monday we can get something. And I'm actually um, preparing to do some summoning, but I can't do it yet because I'm currently out of space. But I want to try to get Aria once again. Um, we still... Uh, we missed out on uh, on Gabriel, which was uh, too bad. But now we're just going to wait for next week and try to get Nocturne. Probably not going to get her, but still, it's worth pulling for. Also, I don't have Raja. So that's also an option I can get. And the week after that, we could go for Bunny, but it's not really um, something. We got 24 scrolls here, we got something here. We got actually a lot of pieces laying around still. Um, so we have two more fairies, we got three more skill fairies, and we got uh, Calypso, so nothing to summon but uh, good stuff to pull. And next time we're going to get uh, try to get Aria once again. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I want to hope to see you all in the next one. Have a good Halloween. Bye.